we will learn how to get the Odoo Rooster Front integration up and running on your local machine. To do that, we recommend you create a folder to keep the project organized. You can do that the way you're used to, or you can run the following command. For the sake of the tutorial, I'll just call it Odoo Rooster Front. Now, you want to make sure you enter this folder. Since We'll need it for later, and this is where we'll be working on. Now, you want to open your browser and go to the GitHub repository. To do that, you can simply Google GitHub Auto Booster Front. It should be the first link. As you can see, we are inside the Auto repository for the Booster Front Auto integration. You want to copy the code. This URL um, points to the repository we want to be cloning, which is this one, of course. And now, in your terminal, you want to run the following command. git clone and the URL you just pasted. So it takes a second, as you can see. And now, um, you want to make sure uh, we are inside the folder the clone created. I mean this Odoo folder. So you enter it, and as you can see, all the code is in here. Now we need to check if yarn package is installed. To do that, you can simply run yarn version. If version appears on your screen, then you have it installed. If not, you can run the following command. Or you can visit their website for more information. Now that we are inside the Odoo folder and we already made sure that Yarn is installed, we want to use this package to install all the dependencies our code runs on. To do that, we simply run Yarn install. This takes a couple seconds. And it will automatically install all the dependencies our code needs to run. As you can see, we it is over now. Next, we want to do yarn build. This will build the project and verify if everything is okay with the code and the previous steps we just ran. It is normal to see some errors, um, this may be due to Redis, since our project is a cache-driven project, uh, but they are okay. It also may be to some deprecations or backend connections, but it all should be fine. It's a work in pro progress after all, so there are errors that won't be appearing in the final project. It's totally normal. This should be almost over. And when this is over, we run the next command. The next command, you may also find some errors, but as I already said, they should be fine. As you can see, done. To continue, we'll run yarn dev. This will start our local server. And as you can see, we have an error, a warning, to the Redis. This is fine, don't worry about it. So this takes a minute or so as well. And after that, we should be okay to go. Let's just wait for this to finish. Okay, now we can see it's listening on port 3000. This port may vary if you already have the port 3000 occupied. This is the port it uses by default. Now you can go to your browser and type localhost followed by the port you're using. As you can see, the website is up and running and everything is working fine. Thank you.